Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right in and see what I'm talking about this week. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming to check me out. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, family, tell them to come check me out. But in this video, I wanted to talk about one of the things I use as a snack since I'm on this weight loss journey. And since I have stopped eating meat protein, I started that back in May of last year. And that's in one of my videos as well. But I stopped eating animal protein. And so I've cut down on also my yogurts and cheese. Cheese is, oh my goodness, I love cheese. So that one's a little bit harder for me, but I'm slowly trying to eliminate eating the regular cheese. But in this video, I'm going to talk about this Kite Hill Original Plain Unsweetened Almond Milk Yogurt. That is, in my opinion, this is my opinion, it's nasty. It's nasty to eat it by itself. But if you add granola to it, it makes it really good. Now, I know that sounds strange, but that's the only way I can eat this stuff is with granola. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today about the health benefits of eating almonds. Did you guys know that almonds contain lots of healthy fats, fiber, protein, magnesium, and vitamin E? I didn't know that. Now, I don't eat, get the almonds, crack them, eat them like that. But I'll find different things that have or is made with almond milk because I don't drink regular milk. My milk for my cereal is oat milk, but then I'll have almond milk for my yogurt. Some of the health benefits of eating almonds is that it can help reduce your blood pressure, help to lower your blood sugar, and can help lower your cholesterol. Also by eating almonds, it can help curb your appetite and aid in weight loss. Now, I talked back in one of my videos that my cholesterol level was a little bit high in between like 215, 217, something like that. So with me eating this nasty yogurt, almond milk yogurt, I'm hoping that it can help to bring down my cholesterol since it is slightly high because I really don't want to be on any kind of medications. So when I go to my doctor's appointment next month, I'm just praying that my cholesterol has gone down and then they can stop talking about possibly putting me on some medication. Now for this almond milk, it says that it's dairy free, soy free, gluten-free, kosher, vegan, non-GMO, made from live cultures, no artificial flavors or preservatives. But like I said, it doesn't taste good. And that's just my opinion. Once again, it's just my opinion. It doesn't taste good by itself. But when I add this granola to it, I eat it, it tastes very good. So I'm gonna show you what I do. 
this is what I normally do. I get about, that's about a cup of the Kite Hill almond milk. And then I take my granola. I take about a cup, if you can see the white line, that's the yogurt. And then I usually don't measure, but I put the granola on top and then I just mix it in. This is just one of a few of the snacks that I'll have throughout the day while I'm here at work. I love mandarin oranges, so I'll get the mandarin oranges, the individual cups, the little cups, you know, that you would put in your kids' lunch. I would get those from Sam's Club. I'll bring one of those, and I also love applesauce. So once again, I shop at Sam's Club, and I get the individual applesauce cups. So I'm going to show you me taking a spoon for this and eating it. It still has that tangy taste to it. It's a tang to it that I think that's what I can't get used to. That's why I add the granola and it kind of tames it down a little bit. But once the granola is added, it's pretty good. So for the calories on this, it's 140 calories for three fourths cup of this. So I get, like I said, about a cup. So just a little bit over 140 calories. The ingredients, it says it's made with almond milk, which is water and almonds, ground up together, I guess, however you make almond milk, starch, citrus fiber, locust bean gum, xanthamum gum, and live active cultures. That's what this is made out of. It says that it has one gram of sugar per serving. And I don't think that's bad at all. So my suggestion, if you are trying to stay away from cow's milk and want an alternative, even though I say this doesn't taste good, I think it's nasty, just my opinion. Other people might like it. So give it a try and then also find you a granola to put in it that you like and that'll help with the taste. So I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I'm going to end for now by saying peace and blessings to you all. Have a great week. Have a great weekend and you will see me next Saturday.